Welcome to Punta Allen, a secluded fishing village that has managed to remain hidden from most tourist readers. This town is great for what it doesn't have. There are no paved roads, stop signs or ATMs. It's a place to disconnect, enjoy long morning coffees and be one with nature. This was by far the most remote place we visited during our 70 days in the Yucatan Peninsula. Rarely as a traveler you get to experience places like this, where life moves slow and there's time for everything. It's not easy to get to Punta Allen, but it's worth it. We took a bus from Cancun to Tulum, then a very bumpy two-hour taxi ride to the Siancan Visitor Center. Then we waited for our next ride for almost three hours. And the final leg was an hour-long lancha through paradise before we reached town and made it to our hotel. This video summarizes our four-night trip to Punta Allen and we divided it into three different parts. One, getting to know Punta Allen. Two, the one and only tour. Three, the town of Punta Allen. We hope you enjoy the video and that you get a sense of what being in a remote place like this feels like. Good morning from the sleepiest little town on the Yucatan Peninsula. It's 8.30 a.m. on a Monday morning, but the only signs of life we see are some street dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Like, there's literally 10 tours here, and we're staying in an, Airbnb, in an Airbnb hotel, but it doesn't have a kitchen, so we're in a desperate hunt for coffee and breakfast right now. I see a sign that says coffee. It's a restaurant. You found breakfast. Look at their branding. Success. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for our table with the water view. Just had some coffee. Like the girl from the restaurant just said, Are you guys gonna go on the tour? <laughs> and everyone says that too. It's like a boat tour where you can see like vanities and dolphins, and I think snorkeling will go, but everyone refers to it as like the tour. <laughs> Looks good. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. We tried to rent bikes, but the bike shop was closed because all the, some of the bikes were under repair. And so our hosts let us use their bikes. So the other thing to do is to bike to, uh, how do you call that? Like a lighthouse. A lighthouse. And apparently there's a really nice viewpoint there. We used to hang around town pretty late. I spent the week thinking about the next day. It was easier then. So much easier than Or oh, like that time I picked you up outside of school You said, screw my dad, I make my own rules It was easier than So much easier than Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, baby Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby couldn't take us, they couldn't change us, they couldn't catch us if they tried. Now we didn't care at all about winter or spring or fall. We felt so alive and girl, we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief. Yeah, we had one of those things. These are the speed bumps in town. <laughs> I don't know why they're needed, honestly. So you don't bike too fast. <laughs> I just want everyone to slow down. And we'll get the water. You can't bike the whole way. It's a little bit too sandy. You just start slipping and sliding everywhere. That's probably why a lot of the bikes are in the shop. A lot of potholes, a lot of sand. So time to start walking to the lighthouse. This is the lighthouse. We can't go up. There's no path, right? What do you see a path? No. I'm holding this in case we see a croc. You bash it on the head? To defend myself. <laughs> it's better than my hand. <laughs> that is it for today's activity. It was a really fun two hours, but it's time for us to head back to the hotel, have some lunch, 
we're having peanut butter sandwiches, gourmet peanut butter sandwiches. And then we wait until 5 p.m. until it's happy hour time. Yesterday was our six month anniversary since we left and started full time traveling and we finally reached 1,000 subscribers. We already had the watch hours and now we can finally apply to be monetized on YouTube. And we just want to say thank you. Like if you're one of them, thank you so much. If you're not one of them and you're watching this video, please subscribe. Um, this is a big moment. Uh, Are you ready? Do it! Finally! Apply. Oh. Step one. Review partner programs. Accept. Accept all. Start. Get reviewed. It says in progress. That's, that's all we can do. We're getting reviewed! <laughs> Uh oh, there's traffic. Be careful. Earlier today when we had the bikes, we explored the other side of town and we saw this bar that is awesome. It's like 100% my style, super rustic. There's plastic tables and chairs in the sand. Hola, perrito. Hola. Oh. Cheers. Salud. You might be wondering what we are doing in Punta Ala. I also wonder I how we also end up here. <laughs> wonders how we end up in these places. Let me explain it to you. So I'm usually the person that does research about our destinations and sometimes I read about a place and I'm like that is the most wonderful place in the entire world and that usually happens when it's super remote, hard to get to and kind of Rustic. Let's say rustic it is a good word. <laughs> so this is 40 kilometers south of Tulum and we drove through Tulum and it is madness. Yeah. But the road, the 40 kilometer road takes four to five hours to get to by car. So you can get here, but it's just... It is described as the worst world. road in the world. So that is what we do as ways of the world. Fine remote places on Off discover the path, we have the luxury to show them to you we are very lucky that we get to do that what's left for today in the busy agenda is to enjoy this beer enjoy the sunrise behind us the view of the ocean the beautiful view and hopefully find some dinner yesterday we went to a restaurant they had one fish left and the fish was like this big so also if the fishermen can't go out there's no fish in town so yeah. things supplies yeah. run out yeah but hopefully, so hopefully we'll be lucky they tonight. They have some food for us this <laughs> evening. <laughs> we were lucky. Dinner time. We found food. We got some rice and onion. Good night. Our host said the sunrise would be beautiful, but this was beyond that. What a way to start day two. But today will be the day that we do the one and only tour. It was supposed to be at 9 a.m., but now it's going to be at 12. So it seems like that's going to be the activity for the day. Other than that, it'll be a slow morning and we should be going on a boat at 12.
pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the natural law distracted by what's here because we can keep seeing more animals. But the coolest part is that we saw two sharks twice swimming away from us. <laughs> but they were so cute. You happy? I'm happy. I'm gonna get the snorkel so you can see what's by the rocks. Raya. There's an eagle ray, that's why I'm running away. <laughs> Just got done with the tour. It was awesome. It feels good to be like salty again. And then we went in the ocean. I can't believe how many turtles we saw. There must have been like 10 or 15 just like from the boat. We saw the eagle ray from the natural pool. It was awesome. We saw everything. So now we we're pretty hungry. So we're going to go look for some food and relax for the rest of the day. Take it easy. One. I mean one for each. Do you need an ID? I don't need an ID. I don't think anyone needs an ID around here. Sunset time. This is the popular spot in town. All the tourists are here. <laughs> this is where everyone comes. Uh -huh. That is everyone. That is everyone. Good morning, today is day three, it's our last full day here in Punta Allen and we're super excited because we're finally gonna give you the grand tour of the town. We're gonna show you the vibe, how it looks like, so you get a sense of how it really is if you decide to come here and why we love it so much. And we're gonna start with breakfast. Life advice, why we love this place so much. No, gracias. No. Buenos días. ¿Cómo está? I don't think anyone spends like four nights here and everyone knows us the same spots every day and then we just like come in and say hi to everyone. We're regulars at this spot. Three days in a row. This is the town school. This is the library. This is the soccer field. This is the town's police station. This is where you should come at night for drinks on the beach. This is where you get your Instagram photo. This is the town's biggest grocery store. Punta Allen is so small that the church doesn't have a full-time priest. So we've been seeing church happening every single day since we got here. And we thought, oh wow, this is like a super religious town. So we asked her host and she was like, oh no, 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 we haven't had a priest in three months. So that's, he's here this week. So that's why service has been happening every single night in town and everyone is so happy and taking advantage of it. If you keep walking along that dirt road that is next to the ocean, you have little pieces of heaven like this that, yeah, like the beach is all like perfect, but you can totally just go in for a swim. And we have been sitting here for like 20 minutes and all we see, we can't show you with the camera because it's hard, but all we see are like turtle heads, like popping to breathe. We have seen like at least 20. So if you are a turtle lover, just like come to one of these beaches and swim for a little bit. And maybe you'll be lucky to have an encounter. Like those turtles are massive. This is Punta Allen's Oceanfront Avenue. If you want to stay directly in front of the beach, this is where you'll be. There's different types of accommodations. You can go camping or you can go glamping or stay in the beachfront hotel like this one or this one. But we chose to stay here because the place had really nice reviews. Our hosts have been amazing. We have all this space and right now it's kind of messy because we're packing to go to the beach. We decided this last minute, but we're gonna bike to what apparently is a beautiful beach and we can hopefully snorkel and see some turtles.
Well, sadly, it's time for us to say goodbye to Punta Allen. We hope you liked the video and that we did a decent job at, at capturing the vibe here, right? It's like 100% our kind of place. We fell in love since the first moment we got here, right? Yeah, this place has been super charming. Like, it's awesome that a place like this still exists in 2022. Yeah. Like the power shuts out for like hours every day. Like you know everyone's name after like, I don't know, a couple days in town. People, just... people were so genuine and I feel that we were so lucky that we got to experience a slower pace of life with our crazy lifestyle, right? We don't get yeah. to disconnect, like internet is terrible, like we couldn't work. We didn't do much, but we... We didn't do much, but like we were able to think and just like hang out have coffees for breakfast for like an hour just like listening yeah. to the waves all like the little things that are that are really like, cool that are awesome in life yeah. and that we didn't know we missed like we didn't know we needed this this is not an easy place to get to and that's exactly what's perfect about it and why you should come here fast because once they build that road that's it yeah, right the people are going to come in so it's not going to stay a hidden gem for long mm -hmm. I mean, it's so close to tulum and tulum's overcrowded so if the road gets paved like the it's just as beautiful here, like the beaches yeah. and the water. People are going to start heading in this direction. And if you don't enjoy crowds, then get your butt here soon. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a great place to disconnect. So if that sounds like what you want in life is just exactly. like go somewhere and like not know what's going on in the rest of the world at all. Then yeah, exactly. We, Island, we for beautiful. sure. Yeah, exactly. We show you everything. Like, as you can see, there's no luxuries. There's nothing, you know, fancy about this place, but you won't just like a very authentic yeah. genuine place our it's... place was super comfortable we had like good food if you like seafood it's a fishing village so you'll mm -hmm. be able to get like fresh seafood and it's just like a place to have like to yourself kind of like selfishly <laughs> but like yeah. there's no other people not many tourists so it's just yeah just yeah. you and the beautiful nature and the, the friendly people in the village it was awesome and we hope you liked it if you have questions leave them in the comments if you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe remember we're going to be in the yucatan peninsula for 70 days mm -hmm. and we're going to be exploring and discovering places yeah so please subscribe and follow along now it's time for us to go back to the real world <sighs> bye punta allen yeah goodbye punta allen it was awesome thanks for the memories thank you for watching bye Thank you. Oh